Very first thing we're gonna do is just kind of squish this down. We're always gonna start with the palm and we're gonna keep it very minimal for the time being. So this will be the area that the fingers are gonna be coming off of, right? And we're immediately gonna start adding some edges. So I'm just gonna go in here and add one right here, one right here, one right in here, get one right in here. Okay, so I added one subdivision to this. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started on introducing a finger. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of move this over and we're just gonna uh, make sure that this kind of represents more or less index finger. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down. One of the first things I'm gonna do is take the top points here and I'm just gonna move these down and I will just start crashing some stuff through. So we'll start making our segments here, okay? Now, what's the, the key to the shaping on this? Um, really utilize silhouette. I think it's very important that you define uh, fingers as, as clean as you can. I'm just kind of taking my time, exploring silhouette here. I'm going to create an angle to this. You basically always have this angle in here. It's almost like a V that starts to take place right here. Just like we did in the palm, we're gonna reinforce the ends here. Just like that. One right here. And I'll probably do the same as I did in the palm, which is just right in here. I'm gonna reinforce the top just a little bit. So if I subdivide right now, you're gonna to start to get a little bit more to play with. And just start crashing them through. Don't be shy about this. You know, keep it nice and controlled, nice and clean. But don't be shy about it. And then at this point, when everything's together, we can start really introducing maybe a little bit of different shape to silhouette. Now with this one, what I'm going to do is basically go into Dynamesh. Okay. That actually looks reasonable. Okay, so I'm gonna commit to this. The minute I have this, I'm gonna start smoothing just some of this information. And at this point, you're welcome to basically go in and start sculpting, kind of help solidify what's happening here with the nail. So first I pushed in, now I'm carving up. Anytime I do that, a little light smoothing to accompany it. You have the ability to go in here with your move brush and still kind of like adjust as needed, right? So you can really get nice and controlled and refined with this as you need, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it right down here. I'm going to scoot this over and we're going to start positioning this in a way that just kind of helps us solve this, right? So I might give a little bit of length to this. Now I'm going to bring this one over. I duplicated it again. I'm going to bring this one lower. Maybe this one gets a little bit of a scale down. And we'll go ahead and do this one more time. Bring this over. Notice that I'm kind of spreading them out just a little bit. 
and we want to start just kind of like orienting them to what we have here. Okay, now we're going to move on to the thumb. So I'm going to go back to that initial sphere. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to bring this down. Let's scale it. I'm gonna subdivide this. That's gonna hold the form just a little bit better. We'll start softening the interior. And this is basically what I'm gonna use for my thumb. And we're just gonna spend a little time just shaping this, just a touch. And let's see, let's go ahead and move this over. I'm gonna rotate. And we'll start just defining our angle here. Define angle, define scale, like all that stuff at this stage. Now I'm gonna go in and just start adjusting all of this shape. Like all this stuff right now is, is this is the time to kind of play.